The Supreme Court's landmark 2015 decision in Obergefell v. Hodges was a major turning point in the struggle for same-sex marriage, a ruling that overturned gay marriage bans in dozens of states and explicitly required states to let same-sex couples get married. But fast forward five years and Nevada voters still will see a same-sex marriage question on their 2020 ballot. So what's the deal with question two? Even though Obergefell struck it down, Nevada still has a provision in its state constitution stating, only a marriage between a male and a female person shall be recognized and given effect in this state. It was added in 2002 when Nevada voted to add it to the constitution with a nearly two-thirds majority. It was then struck down in 2014 by a federal court separate and prior to the Obergefell decision. But the language remains in the state's constitution even though it's unenforceable. That's why in 2017, two state lawmakers, Nelson Araujo and David Parks, introduced AJR 2. Lawmakers can amend the state constitution by passing a proposed constitutional change in two subsequent sessions before sending it to the voters for a yes or no vote. AJR 2 removes the same-sex marriage ban and instead replaces it with a section stating, the state of Nevada and its political subdivisions shall recognize marriage and issue marriage licenses to couples regardless of gender, and that all legal valid marriages must be treated equally under the law. It also states that religious organizations and members of a clergy have the right to refuse to solemnize a marriage, and prevents anyone from suing over such a refusal. AJR 2 won't change anything for same-sex couples if it's passed, but supporters say it's important symbolically to remove the language from the state's primary legal document. For more on ballot questions and the 2020 election, check out the NevadaIndependent.com.